Well, good morning, class. Today I'm going to show you in a very brief video lecture how to recode your variables. As you can see, I already have the exercise 6 data file open. Of course, you may have a different data file open depending on what assignment you're working on, but primarily the process is the same for recoding your variables. Okay, what I want to do is first go to the pull down menu called transform. And I want to recode something into different variables. And in this instance, we're going to look at the variable list. And the variable that we want to recode is rap music. So we'll select it and then move it over to the other window. And we're going to rename it. We're going to call it rap2. That's all you have to do. Just click rap2 and click change. Now, we want to work on those old and new values. And all these instructions are actually in your textbook. I'm just giving you a very brief synopsis of it. Um, so if I'm going too fast, you can just go back and refer to the textbook. Now, if you have your own personal student copy of SPSS, then this video lecture uh, gives you pretty much uh, an update of the, cert the tools and the commands that you need to utilize. So if I'm going to uh, change the range, any uh, respondent who's who answer who you entered into your data as a one or two or three we're going to change that to the range between one and three and the new value is going to be one and then we want to add that now if it the range between four and five we're going to give it a new value of two and we need to add that and all other values any other number that was entered will be a value of 8 and of course you want to click output variables are strings and the reason why that is that's in your book so let's go ahead and click on continue okay so we're done that well not quite done so I'm just gonna go ahead and click okay now I need to go back to uh, you can see I'm working in one of the trial copies of SPSS or if you have the full-blown copy of SPSS you will see the syntax if not, you won't see the syntax, and that's not a big deal. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to variable view, excuse me, data view, because I want to look for that variable that I just changed, um, wrap into wrap2. Okay, here it is, wrap2. Now we want to double click on it, because there's some changes you want to make to it, to the values and to the label. So if the response was one the value label that I'm going to assign it now is gonna will be like rap music and I'm gonna add that and the other value label we're gonna put dislike rap music okay and if it was missing or not there we're just gonna call it eight or we're gonna label it as eight and call it missing that's all there is to that and I'm gonna click OK okay so now as we continue onward I want to go ahead and double check something I'm gonna look at uh, the cross tabs go ahead and take a peek at them and I'm gonna add that new we're gonna cross tab that new uh, category that you made and if you scroll down your list of variables you'll see wrap two. so we'll add it to the row and let's see, we'll cross tab it with, we'll call it for right now, age category four. And we're going to go ahead and clean up these cells and percentages a little bit so it'll make sense. Um, your statistics, you don't need to do anything to that. Your cells, you want to make sure you have observed. And um, column totals is what you're going to want to look at. And let's see, format. Just leave it as ascending and that's fine so just leave the rest alone and keep going I'm gonna go ahead and click OK ta-da and now you can see it created a lovely little cross tab and it has uh, which percentages obviously this is your count exactly how many people responded um, sorry that keeps popping up there and it has your percentages within um, a particular age category and of course you have to define um, age category and um, clean up this column a little bit better but for the most part this is how you recode your variables 
and how it will look in a cross tab and the rest is up to you. I'm sure you'll be fine from this point on. Oh, okay, and one more little thing you want to make sure you take care of your uh, label. I'm going back here to the variable view and the label because as you can see, sorry, here it's just calling it wrap to but you want to change this as you'll see for this particular assignment to we're going to actually change it to attitudes about rap music. So all I need to do is just click on label and I'm just going to type in attitudes about rap music. See, that's real easy. Now I'm going to go again, run another cross tabs, just take a look at it. And now rap two, you notice it's changed to attitudes about rap music by uh, whatever age category. And I'm going to click OK. And ta-da! Now you see it says attitudes about rap music. Um, you could actually even say respondents attitudes about rap music, but once again, keep it brief. And um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, easy peasy. So good luck. If you have questions, be sure to ask. And thank you very much for watching.